Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing a quick drill instructional video from the 1935 drill manual, um, plus some slight variances such as fixing of the bayonet, as we're going from the old SMLE bayonet as we do model one, um, to the number four spike bayonet. First of all, we're going to go for the standard position of at ease and attention. Roughly now, standing with the feet crack width apart, which should be around 12 inches of shoulder width. Body should be straight, facing forward, not twisted at all. Body erect, chest up, head straight forward, eyes looking to the front. Quite a smart position, but quite relaxed. Hands will go behind the back um, to its fullest extent, just hanging naturally. No locking of the elbows, but hanging naturally. Palm, fingers should be facing outward, right hand to the left, thumbs interlocked as such. This is the position of at ease. Lost the position of stand easy, which is very similar. The only difference is you can move your arms and your head and you can adjust your dress if you have to. This thing we're going to go on to is the position of attention. The position of attention will look something like this. What are you doing there from the position of at ease is you bring your left leg to your right leg, making sure you've got about a 45 degree angle with your feet. At the same time, you bring your arms down by your side. Again, hanging naturally, not locking your elbows. Thumbs just behind the seams of your trousers. And fingers um, in a fist, but not clenched, not tightening. So, fingers should be naturally like that. Again, body should be straight, facing forward, chest up, head forward, so you're looking proud in your uniform. Thank you. Go back from here, position of at ease. What you're simply doing is bring your left foot back 12 inches to your left, back to where you were at ease, shoulder width apart. And then hands are then going back behind the back as such. Again from the back. They go from the position of stand easy to attention, or going from uh, easy to stand at ease, you're going to be bracing up. So ideally, if you're not adjusting your dress, your hands are going to be more relaxed. So slightly bent standing easy. When you get called stand at ease or to attention, you can brace up as such. So you can then move on to the next move. For example, going from stand easy to attention look like this. Squat! Squat! Jump! As such. And going from here to at ease will be stand at ease. Stand easy. So you can move your arms about just your dress if you have to, but if not, arms back like this. Squat! Squat! Cut! As such. Let's be going to teach you some turns. Left turn, right turn, and about turn. Here is all done from the hulk. It's quite simple to do, and as long as you've got not weird feet, you should be able to do it quite easily. So for a left turn, it looks something like this. What you're doing is you're turning to the left on the heel of your left foot, forward to your right. Once you've done that 90 degree turn, plant your feet on the ground so it's more stable. And on the second movement, you're moving your right foot to your left leg, resuming the position of tension. Whilst you're doing this, you're going to keep your arms straight by that, down by your sides as you're in tension and not moving away from your body or, as we like to call it, helicopter tool. So by the numbers, it looks something like this. By the numbers, left, turn, two. Turning to the right is very similar, except with the opposite feet. So turning to the right, be the heel of your right foot, pull your left, plant feet on the ground, and then sliding. Again, by the numbers, by the numbers, right, turn, two. That's up. Um, all these movements in drill are going to be done at marching pace. So you do it all in your own time without the numbers being called. So in my own time, it looks like something like this. Left, turn. Right, turn. Okay. Next thing we're going to go for is an about turn, which is slightly more difficult and it's quite easy to shoot yourself up. But if you do it properly and with stable feet, you should never be much of a problem. It looks something like this. About, turn. 
What you do with that is you do the full right turn. When you're doing the about turn, you always turn to the right, unless you're something like sentry duty um, where you're marching and you always have to keep your eyes towards the threat. But for this instance, you always turn to the right. So what you're doing is the same as the right turn, so the same feet, so you're turning on the heel of your right foot, falling to the left. But this time you do the full 180 degree turn to your rear, as such. Again, uh, try and plant your feet once you've landed there. Um, your right foot you probably plant first, but if you can, plant your left as well. And your second command is in the position of sentry. So again, by the numbers, we're in something like this. By the numbers, about turn, two. By the numbers, about turn, two. And that's your about turn. We've also got a hand salute. Um, there's a few different ways to do it, but there's a standard way you're supposed to do it, which is shortest way up, longest way down, elbow at 45 degree angle, palm flat, thumbs together, and fingers together. I'll give you an example. It looks something like this. Now, so what I'm doing here, as you see, left hand stays in the position of attention, body stays in the position of attention. All I'm moving is my right arm, which is going in a circular motion, till my elbow and uh, upper arms parallel to the ground, the rest of the arms carrying over, so my hand is around the inch over my right eye. And the palm facing forward, so you're saluting, and thumb and fingers together. So you're going down, shortest way down, straight down, back where I was at a big position of attention. Remember, longest way up, shortest way down, as such. There's also left and right um, salutes, so salute to the left, to the left, to salute, and salute to the right, to the right, to salute. You'll do the same thing with your arm, only difference is you'll be turning your head in the direction of the salute. That's all the um, basic foot drill without rifle. I'll now move on to some drill with the number four, the empty rifle. This is the number four, the Enfield rifle. It uh, fires 303 cartridges, um, two five round stripper clips into the 10 round magazine. It's one of the most accurate and fastest bolt action rifles of its time. And um, it was used by the British Army during World War I um, as the SMLE and then onto World War II as the number four, as you see here. First thing we need to look at is the position of at ease with the rifle. So again, feet should be shoulder width apart or five inches apart, as such. Left arm is going to be down to the side of your body, um, as in a position of attention. For the British Army, you don't put your hand behind your back whilst at ease, it'd be down the side of your body, as such. The butt of the rifle should end up roughly um, to the right of your right little toe. Hand should be grasping between two bits of metalwork, as this woodwork here, and then your arm should be at the full inch extent. Jump from the side. Look like this. Then to go from here to the position of tension, um, it's similar to um, without the rifle, so you bring your left leg to your right leg, left arm's gonna stay in the same place, and then you're gonna bring your right the rifle to the side of your body, as such. What you're doing here is you have to make sure that you might have to slide your right hand down the rifle. It depends on the length of your arm, but you want it to be nice and flush against your body. And if you can possibly have the rifle pointing straight up. As such. So from here to the point of at ease, is again the opposite way around, so left leg, 12 inches to the left, uh, draw width apart, rifle, you can push into the fullest extent of your arm, and grasping the woodwork, as such. This will look like this. Squad, at hand, jump. Stand at ease. Okay, that's position of attention, and position of stand at ease. Every you're going to go, it's going to be the slope arm. To do this, you have to shoulder the rifle first. First, you'll be called to position of attention. Squad, 10, jump. To shoulder the rifle, it looked like this. Again from the side. What I'm doing is I'm throwing the rifle up with my right hand and catching it with my left. Roughly in the middle of the rifle so you've got good stability. Like that. At the same time, I'm then catching it 
at the bottom with the woodwork here with my right hand grasping it and try to land it with that hand roughly where my hip my waist is and the rifle into my shoulder. So again, like that. Bring it up with the right hand, catch it with the left, right hand here into the shoulder and to the waist. So this is all done in one movement myself. Second thing you're going to be doing is placing it onto your shoulder. So the first position is one. Second position, you're going to be grasping the woodwork here and planting it onto your left shoulder. At the same time, you'll grasp the butt with your left hand, as such. Position two. Position three is bringing your right hand that back down by your side, as such. So again, position one, throw and catch. Position two. Place on the left shoulder, grab with your left hand, position three, arm back to the position of attention. That's the position of slope arms. So the command would be, fire up, slow, hump. Position one, position two, position three, as such. Without the numbers, we'll do something like this. Slow, hump. Now we're going to go to the order arms, which is the position of attention with the rifle. We look something like this. Order, hump. What you're doing, is so on the first command, you're going to be moving your left arm to its fullest extent, like that, so it's straight. And bring your right hand over, grasping up the top of the rifle here. That's on the first command. Position two, you bring it to the right side of your body, guiding it down with your left hand until it's about an inch off the ground. Third position, you're dropping the rifle on the floor or placing it so you don't damage the rifle and your left hand goes down back by your side so you're in the position of attention. Again, with the numbers. By numbers. Order. Um. Two. Three. Again from the side. Right arm, order, hump, two, three. Again from the other side. Right arm, order, hump, two, three. Okay, without the numbers, we do something like this. Order, hump. That's the position of order arms. So now we've got Attention, at ease, slope arms, and order arms. The next thing we're going to go through is fixed bayonet. First thing you need to make sure you have is you have your bayonet on your left side. That's where you'll need it to be. This is the uh, drill for the spike bayonet and not the uh, earlier 302 bayonet, which is a uh, different drill. First thing you could be called will be scuttle fixed bayonets, and that's going to tell you what's going to happen. So you don't want to do anything to that point. Next command you get will be fix. What you're doing is you'll be putting the rifle out with your right hand, still grasping it as you would at the position of stand at ease, but you keep your body at attention. Next thing you're going to do at the same time is bring your left hand down by your side and grasp your bayonet. What you want to do is if you have your palm facing forward, flat, and grasp it like that. Okay. See here, now we've got one bayonet. The idea is to try and grab your bayonet so you can't see it from the front. So if you can see, you're pushing it slightly to the rear here. So you're going to be pushing it down so you can slide it out easily. So, if you look at my like this, it's got to fix bayonets. Fix! And that's the first position. Next order you'll get is bayonets. What you'll do is you'll slide the bayonet out with your left hand. Bring it over to the rifle so you can fix it. Whilst you're doing that, you'll main eye contact with the bayonet at all times. So you're moving from straight forward to your bayonet. Pushing it in, knocking it in, then holding that position smartly with your hand out. So that means your commander will know that you'll get your bayonet fixed properly. Next position we call is the attention. Attention. Resume the position of attention. 
again. We go for that one more time. Another thing to point out is that you always have the ring of your bayonet to the rear. Your ring goes where your ring is, to the rear. Squad will fix, bayonets, fix! Again, arm comes out on the right hand side. You grasp your bayonet with your left. Bayonets, pull your bayonet out, fix it, and then hold your hand out so your commander knows you're ready. Turn to jump. Back to position of attention. Next thing we're going to go for is unfixed bayonets, which is a bit different. First thing you're going to do is you're going to be placing your rifle between your legs, so you've got stability of the rifle. Your butt's going to go between your heels, so you can't move it there, and then your knees because you're going to surround the rest of the rifle and lock it in, so you can't move it about too much. At the same time, you then grab the rifle with your left hand for the woodwork, and your right hand is going to unlock the button, Turn the bayonet off and get ready to pull it off, but leave it at that position. So that position will look something like this. It's good to unfix bayonets. Unfix. Like that. Simple as that. This time you're going to be mainly maintaining eye contact with the bayonet at all times. Again, try and make sure that you don't move your right foot, because in drill, you very rarely move your right foot because that indicates your spacing and dressing. So, Got an unfixed bayonet. Unfix. Like that. Okay? That's now unlocked. The next position you'll be given is bayonet. At this point, you'll seize your bayonet scabbard with your left hand. Get ready to slide it in nicely. Bring the bayonet out with your right hand. Put it in. Maintain an eye contact. Look at the bayonet. Try and hide it. Again, I like to put my hand on the lap so the commander knows you're ready. Then you give, give him attention. Give the drop, the scabbard back down, so he's pointing down. Place the rifle back to your right hand side and make sure your feet are together as in the position of attention. Again, so going through fixed bayonets will look like this. Let's go to fixed bayonets. Fix! Bayonets! Turn, jump! Then the unfix, it's called an unfix bayonet. Unfix. Bayonet. Turn the chip. And that's unfix your bayonet. Next move we're going to go for is the position of present arms, which you usually do with a fixed bayonet. So I'm going to demonstrate that one more time so we can go up to the uh, general salute present arms. Got to fix bayonets. Fix. Bayonets. Ten. Ten. Okay. To go to do the present arms, first we'll do a slow times. So again, slow hands. Present arms will look something like this. General salute. Present hands. And that's the present arm. So what I'm doing is on the, on the command present arms with my right hand and grasping the woodwork like this. Make sure you're actually grasping it. Next command you're going to do is on position two, move the rifle to the front, the bolt facing forward, around, fist away from your body, but I like to tuck my elbow in, so it's quite natural for me. Left hand, palm against the uh, magazine. See, I've got my hands flat together because it looks nice and smart. That's the number two. The number three, you're twisting the rifle and bring it down to the fullest extent of your right, right arm like that. As far as you can get that down. Again, keeping it straight if you can. And grasping the rifle here. At the same time, you'll bring your right leg and right foot to your left, behind your left leg. Like that. Positions look something like this. By the numbers. Present, hump, two, three. You get from the side. Right numbers. Present, hump, two, three. 
So you go back from present arm to slope arm, so you simply add slope arm, placing it onto your left shoulder, the same type as grabbing it on the bottom of the back, and then draw hands down by your side. So if I try it both up the numbers, it will look something like this. General salute, present, hump. So, hump. So that's all the uh, basic commands. We go for a quick run through and show you what we learnt so far, and I'll send you on your way. Order, hump. Tada, sit. Two, aten, chant. So, hump. Present, hump. Slow, hump. Order, hump. Shoulder lump fix trainer. And fix. Train it. Stand jump. Stand up. Eat. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That was the basic drill for the uh, British Infantry during World War II. Um, take in mind, this is my first time doing this. I usually do American, so it's still a learning curve for me. But I hope you enjoyed it and get a basic idea of how the British did drill during World War II. Thank you for watching.